and welcome Mr. Abhijit Singh. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. This is railway station, right? Yeah. In the back. And this sound which you are listening is a railway engine sound, right? When I was a kid, it used to run on diesel. Today, it runs on electric. Recently, clap for yourself, India has done complete electrification of your tracks. Soon, when there will be no emission, neither on the train side or engine side, nor on the grid side, because it will be powered by solar in few years, then there will be no smoke. The sound which is coming from behind is the sound of power, is the sound of thunder. And that sound also gives you a certain type of vibration to your heart. The thunder which you are creating is one of those heartbeats which is going to beat together in this entire nation. So now, one charging station of this scale and this type, where you can say I can charge two-wheeler, I can charge three-wheeler, I can charge a four-wheeler, is almost unique in nature with this amount of DC charges. And why I'm saying it is unique in nature, it's not like difficult to put charges DC. It is to have that courage to build that thunder which you have created. And the reason why you don't put other people did not took this call is because of the profitability that they could not see into it. I'm also like one of you who have taken a decision that I will not work into electric mobility inside city, I will work on the highways in 2019. In 2019, when nobody heard and Germany was doing pilots and pilots of the electric highway, I was given this responsibility to create India's electric highway for electric cars, electric buses, electric trucks. And that time it was very, very difficult to ascertain that you will get charged in the city or not. I took the challenge and said, three years, give me three years. Ideally, we, I said, I remember my words, two years, one year I had to add because of COVID into 2020. Give me two years, I will make highway charging infrastructure profitable. And today, the project which is called National Highway Electric Vehicle, after commissioning and doing successful technical trials between Delhi, Jaipur and Delhi, Agra, it is expanding to 5,500 kilometers from Delhi to Kanyakumari, from Bharat Mala and Sagar Mala. This 5,500 kilometers also crosses Hyderabad. You can seamlessly go work and the best part is what I connect with you is it is profitable, it is not loss making. It is not the charger which is purchased by the government from the government pocket, from the taxpayer's money and which does not have a return, which does not have a utilization, which does not have a yield. So my dear friend, all of you who have started this initiative of a very interesting term that Rajiv has coined is charge pe charcha or charcha pe charge. Or chai pe charcha. Chai pe charge, charcha pe charge, or chai pe charcha. This all are, all are almost same. And fortunately, I am the one who was in the campaign of chai pe charcha. So it's very correlating to me that if you are, by the time finishing your tea or snacks, whatever, if your vehicle is getting charged, it is immarkably very, very impressive to create an ecosystem which fits into the pocket of people. People do not want to wait for a long period. One highway story is different. There is no wait. There is only a five-minute exchange wait. But let, that's technically different. Now, the coming stage, the coming time, your position, your importance, your efforts, your dedication, these four or five things which you are putting up in your, from your personal life, from your professional life, to build an ecosystem like this, you need not to worry about few things and which I wish to tell you today. And this is in story. And I think there are, there are women, there are ladies in the crowd who are listening to me 
there are people who are associated with their mother, with their parents, sitting young guys and girls, will be also be able to relate with me that what I am telling you is in a story of middle class. In middle class, if you look at the expenditure the spectrum, the biggest expenditure of a middle class is the expenditure of their rent of the house. Am I right? Are you with me? Out of all expenses, khana, peena, bachcho ko padhana, grocery kharidna, un sabse bada expense hota hai aapke ghar ka kiraya, rent of your house, right? Am I correct or wrong? And why are we kafal to pay that amount of money to somebody who has built a house is because we don't have one. So what our parents have done, what our mother, our grandmothers have done is saving money from our food, from eatery, from going to restaurant, from burger, to picnic. Small, small amount of money saved to buy a house for themselves. Correct? And once this house is your own, then you don't have to pay the rent. Why this story is very, very related to you all is nation right now is in the same state. Our biggest bill, our biggest expenditure as a country is the oil import bill. And the way you don't have control on the landlord, he can increase the rent because Hyderabad is now a very wonderful growing city. And I have decided to increase your rent to double. You pay or you leave. It happens or not? It happens. If it happens to a war between Ukraine and Russia, the crude oil price goes up and you have to pay. You can't say anything because your biggest bill, your biggest handcuff on economy, the small, small money that we spend, that we save from food processing, from export, from pharma, from any sort of hospitality, leather, textile, all this sector earn a little bit of money and they contribute to the national economy and we go and we pay that money. We can't have a choice. Because we cannot live without fossil fuel. We cannot live without petrol, diesel and these gases. We have to buy our ecosystem, our vehicle, our industries, our household, our apartments. Everything is running on these fuel. So as a country, I see myself, my finance minister, on the place of your mother, your grandmother, who has to save small amount of money from different, different equations, and then they have to build a green economy. This green economy has two numbers which I am willing to share with you. It would not be possible if you will not be able to reduce these two numbers. Our export is high, our import is high, our export is low, so manufacturing is one number. Second, our logistic cost is out of the GDP cost. GDP, I am sure you all understand the national budget, national expenditure, is 17% to 14% right now. And technically, we wish to reduce this to one digit, means 7 to 9%. 14, 15% of our total expenditure, total GDP, we are spending on logistic, on these vehicles, on these trucks and buses. And do you know how much we spend on health? We all consider and understand that the health is the most important thing in the life. Once you lost your health, no matter how much money you have, we spend 2% on our health and 17% on the logistic. So this logistic cost will only be able to come when we will have charging stations like this, which can charge two-wheeler, which can charge three-wheeler, which can charge four-wheeler. Also in coming time, trucks and buses. These numbers, these efforts will be able to create and transition between what you are using today. If you call for somebody, somebody comes to visit you, you have to go somewhere, you have to go to your village, picnic, travel, tourism or somebody coming to see you in the city. All of this require mobility. All industries, right from aviation to agriculture, automobile, to leather, textile, to steel, each one of them, they require power to run their factories, to run their plants. And the second thing that they require 
is fossil fuel to make their finished product reach market. These two together contribute more than 35% of the emission. 35% of the, I'm not right now talking about 17% of the expenditure. If in coming time India has to reach on that level where we have calibrated to reach, where we have planned to reach, aspired to reach, trying to leap forward, we will have to reduce our cost in two manners, our logistic cost and the other export increase and import decrease. Your role into this is to look at each and every sector, whether it's Swiggy, Zomato, Flipkart, Amazon, whether it's food, whether it's flower, specs, shoes, socks or medicine. Everything when it is reaching to its consumer, it is consuming an amount of fuel. And each one of them, they are the opportunities for business. Each one of them required an intensive audit to understand that whether a cleaner, greener and sustainable mode of transport can be offered to them or not. And when you say that we will be able to do this, we will be able to create this, then every house, every building, every household, every shop, mall would have charger. So why I said these five things to you is because you are into this business and this business is not going to see any downfall into next at least 40 years. Today you are into 2022. Four, and India has a plan to decarbonize its complete economics, its complete structure of economy cross sectors by 2070, amounting an investment of around $10 trillion. So if it is tomorrow, a shining industry, a shining ecosystem of business can be predicted with folded eyes. It can be electric mobility, it can be hydrogen, it can be solar, it can be something which has something related to the decarbonization. So your time, your energy, your dedication, your efforts that you are putting up today, maybe on a one charger basis, maybe on a company level, project level, product level, it does not matter, it is all going to pay you back. And when you see what I said that each house will have a charger, then very soon you will also have her ghar charger. Absolutely, that's the way you guys are working. You guys are facing and tracking your dreams. This is what deserves a national compliment. Please accept my compliments and a clap for all of you, which has reached to this level. And this is not a very ancient level, I'm telling you. I don't want to criticize any of the institution who has done purchasing on the taxpayer money, but taxpayers are sitting here. So I can say, a lot of purchases have happened from the government pockets, government institutions, which are not working right now. Most of the time I see articles in the newspaper who are saying there are charges purchased from the government orders. They don't have the gun, they don't have the connectivity, they don't have parking, they don't have anything. In last few years, what we have done, we have got a learning that whenever we are putting up charger, we have to look at the ecosystem. Ecosystem of which are the people going to use this and how we are going to power this. If you are going to power it with solar, that's the best thing which can happen. If you are going to power it with wind, that's the finest thing which can happen. But if you are even not powering it now, then you should look into that direction. That when it could be possible to power such charging station by a grid or not directly by a grid, by installation of solar, but you can also do the power purchase agreement of the green excess. So with this, I would reach to the last point of complimenting each one of you that your role is the role of building that house which our parents wanted to come, wanted to build. The most profitable business in over a period of 20 years, which is correctly has changed the lives of people, were the real estate, nothing else. People who invested into land and the building, infrastructure and the highway and road, they become millionaire and millionaire. So if you are today building that house which nation want, which our grandparents wanted, which our parents wanted to save for so that they don't need to pay rent, then you are building this house that the nation will not pay the rent of the fossil fuel. With this, I extend my best wishes and compliments to each one of you, partners, 
players, investors, speakers, panelists, those who are using it into involved into installation, product development, R&D, also into business teams, marketing, and making this world possible that her ghar charger and charge pay charcha or charcha karte karte charge. Chaya pite pite charge. Thank you, each one of you. Let's move ahead with the program.